I'm going to show you how you can create an equipment management sheet in Excel. So I'm using um, heavy equipment as, um, as an example, but you could use this for anything. You could use this for uh, small tools or whatever else is coming in and out of your shop. Now, um, I've made up unit numbers and just put BH in front of a bunch of numbers here, and that's how I came up with these. Now, the um, you could, if it's smaller parts, you could definitely use barcodes and scan them in in here to find things, um, as well as um, as either that or typing them in. And so here we have our list of equipment. So um, I assume that these is this is a rock company because I'm going to use Fred and Barney as my um, people that are signing people out or signing things out. And so here we have a list of their heavy equipment. So we have um, uh, back hoes and caterpillars and rotary vibrator or whatever. And then um, then we have the hours. Now you would have hours for everything, but I could only think of a few. And now there, there's location. They're either out in the field or in the near in the yard. So basically, they're available if they're in the yard, and they're not if they're in the field. And so now, if you wanted to um, to book a piece of equipment, what you would do is you would click on the book equipment button here, and then it would bring up. And so the first thing it's going to do is it's we're assuming that this list is a lot, a lot longer than what I have here. So I'm going to type in B H dash, uh, like I said, you could use a barcode scanner for this as well, 2-1, and then you're going to search and see whether it's available. And so you search, and so then you can see what the hours on it, and it's in the yard, so it's obviously available. And so now it's going to be Fred that's renting here that's going to book this one out. So we go um, Fred in here, and then we sign out. And so this 2-1 is right here, and so when you go sign out, it turns turns that into field, which is, you know, which is great, but you also have created a record of um, Fred taking this out and the time that he's taking this out. Now, Fred also has um, has taken out BH0015, and so what I, B, Fred would like to return this one. And so what we're going to do is we'll go back to our main sheet. And so what we're going to do is go, we'll click on the return button. And so what we're going to do, we're going to click in BH-0015. Now, um, the hours that he took it out were 15,000 15, here. And so let's say he... Uh, didn't work that much, but let's say 15,200 is the return hours. And it's, it's, it's Fred that's bringing it back. And so now what we do is we click on the return. And the new hours are put in here. The hours are important for heavy equipment because they, it's more, more important to me than the quote, quote, mileage. They need to know how long this piece of machinery has worked, right? And so this is a new and up-to-date hours on this piece of equipment. Now, the other thing that we have in, in the operation record, we have that um, Fred took this out with 15,000 and he brought it back with 15,200. It has a date and time for when he brought it back and who... And so if you're looking for something and you couldn't figure out where it was, what you do is you go to the transaction record here and you can see where it, where it was or where it had been. So let me show you how I did this. I have created two user forms. I've created the user form for taking equipment out and the user form for bringing it back. And so here I have the unit number, the hours, the employee, and the location. Okay, so now let's double click this and then we'll see what the code is for the search port. And so the what it's doing is it's, it's declaring row number as long, um, unit number as string. And so the unit number is on the, um, the unit number is the unit number that is put into that text box. And now what it's gonna do is it's searching sheet one, which is our inventory sheet and it is looking in column A and finding the unit number. Now, 
um, if somebody doesn't uh, makes a typing error and you you can't be found, it'll say equipment not found, and he'll have to recheck his uh, his typing. Else, he finds the row number, and then it reports on the hours on that piece of equipment and the location, whether it's in the yard or in the um, in the field. Now, uh, the other thing. So the other button that we have on here is the when you book it. Okay, so um, name equals um, your your text box name that you have entered there. And now it's you can only book it if uh, it doesn't equal a field. So if it says yard, then you're able to go. So it says um, if location is not equal to field, then what you're going to do is unit number is uh, the unit number box there. And then we're looking for the unit number uh, in A. When it finds it, the range, uh, the row number is the range row. Description is taken from there. And then sheet one cells row number four is the field. It's going to change the, the location from the yard to the field. Now we're going to sheet two, which is our operation record. And uh, it's looking for the last row. And then on sheet two, then it's putting the unit number, it's putting the description, it's putting the hours, it's putting the name, and it's putting um, the date and time. And then it's, this is how it's formatted so that it comes out very readable. And then we go back to sheet one and activate it. So we're basically where we started from. Okay, so now my other user form, which is the return button, um, so we have unit number hours and employee here again. And so with the return, we'll double click that to look at the code. And so, um, uh, so we're searching for sheet one, uh, sheet one column A again for the unit number. Once again, we have the, um, the, 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 the chance that they type it in wrong. But anyways, when they don't, when it, they find the row, row number, row number is equal to range row. Um, sheets one cells row number equals hours. So whatever hours um, we have up here that the unit number equals um, from the from the text box, the hours equals what's on the text box and the name which is on the text box. And so then it goes sheet one um, hours, it changes the hours to whatever the last hours were. And now it changes the location to the yard, so it's brought back. And then we go to sheet two, which is our um, our operation record, and it says uh, once again we're searching for the unit number. Um, we make sure that they we know they know how to type, and then the row number equals range row, and sheet two cells row number equals name. It tells you who signed it back in. It tells you what the hours are when it was signed back in, and it tells you the date and time when it was signed back in. So that's how you create an equipment management sheet in Excel. If you're interested in this type of thing, we I have a, a mastering user form in Excel course, and I will put a link in the description of my video. Please subscribe.